everybody welcome to another video so I've got myself an LPH 400 now most people will realize that you can only get these things normally in in the uh, US and I'm in the UK but I managed to get hold of one that was actually in the UK believe it or not it's the LVX so it's the um, what you would know as the orange cap they do a purple one and they also do a uh, I think it's LV4, the other one. Uh, but I got this to A, see what it was like, uh, and B, to try it against a wider 4, which is supposedly a replacement for this, although the cap is slightly different. So I'll be doing that in a different video. There's no spraying in this video. But w one reason I got this thing, and I got it quite cheap, is that it's got an air leak. Uh, now, I was reasonably confident I'd be able to fix the air leak, or am reasonably confident I'd be able to fix the air leak. So I've got the spare part here, brand new unopened spare part from NSI Water, uh, from Painting Tools Japan, actually. I ordered something else and, and got one of these as well, but you can get it anywhere. Any iWater dealer, you should be able to get it. We'll run through the part number uh, in a minute, but we're going to... Uh, see what's wrong with it and see what other air leaking can occur because I had a, a similar problem I'll put a link in the description in uh, with my Kiwami 4 except it was the opposite end to this it's leaking out the back not the front and we'll just go through it I did a, a stripped down video of those I know a lot more about them now and we'll just run through the various components and see if we can fix the problem anyway let's uh, I'll put a camera on my head and we'll uh, we'll get going okay guys so I've hooked up to an air supply it's a free bar when we don't need to turn it on because it's leaking through the front of the cap without us touching anything now i've tried holding it up to the um, microphone you can't really hear it so the best thing to do is show you on some water now hopefully you can pick that up hopefully you can see and hear the bubbles so it's not a massive leak and it won't affect the way the gun's working but it obviously is a fault it shouldn't be doing that at all so we're going to see if we can fix that spray that off i'll drop that down there for the moment we we'll get rid of that and we'll take the needle out needle and spring just as we were when we're going to clean it uh, and we'll take this back nut off now on my kiwami i had a problem where air was leaking out the back here so if you put some soapy water across it, you'd be getting bubbles out the back. Not out the front, not out there, but out the back. So if you are getting a leak out of the back, it will be, 17 mil we need, it will be this part here. Uh, and I'll try and get the part numbers and put the part numbers uh, on the video. But it will be this part here that's causing problems. The early ones were all metal and they actually last longer. This is a more modern one with a plastic insert. Uh, there's a small o-ring in there which you can try digging out and changing. You can get generic o-rings sometimes. It's not available as a spare part. You get that as a complete thing. But if you are leaking air out the back, that will be the problem. Now, I've had this apart once before. I haven't fitted this part. You'll see this part is in a sealed bag. I'm, I'm thinking that will work. I'm pretty sure it'll work. But what I have done is I've cleaned this up on a wire wheel. I've got a wire wheel here. Uh, and I just run it round there just to make it all nice and shiny. Because what you'll find is it actually gets oxidised. And where it gets oxidised, it gives like a little bit of a ridged film. And that actually sits inside. We'll have a look. We'll get that, get this open and we'll have a look. But that actually sits inside here. Where this comes down, this actually sits there. You see, see this, this, let's use that there. This ridge here, round here. This is where this sits. And if there's any impurities or anything to make this not a good seal against this plastic there, then air will escape through. And it escapes through here, through the body, and then obviously comes out the cap. Uh, exactly the same as when you pull the trigger. When you pull the trigger, it physically pulls this back, lets the air through, which is this side, and comes straight through. So 
And what we need to do is we need to change that. Now, if you've got air coming through the front here, not necessarily through there, but you've got air coming through the front here behind the trigger, then it will it will be either that seal in there, which hopefully you can see, which isn't available as a spare part, but you, you would be able to dig it out and maybe find one that would suit. Uh, or this seal here. Now that seal is available as a separate spare part. Again, I'll try and put the numbers in. That's available as a separate spare part, but it comes as an assembly with this. Uh, and that's probably the best way of changing it because what I think, I think these distort over time uh, and it, it needn't be a long amount of time. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that. So it's a 10 mil Allen key. We'll put it in there, you'll see there's a, um, a recess in there that's all you're trying to do and that's the same part as on the WS the series one I haven't taken the series two apart yet but it's the same same one as on the um, the LS and WS the supernovas uh, the same part same principle and all the Iwata guns I've actually looked at and taken apart all have the same principle, exactly the same way of doing it, although they do do it in a slightly different way, so the components aren't always the same. For example, he says, that is one for a Kaiwami 4 that I've got. Uh, part number for that, if ever you need it, for a Kaiwami 4 is 9300-1640. Uh, well, we can read you the part number for this. The part number for the LPH 400, which is the same body as the W400, is 9384530. And that will be a, a, a world round part number. So that's the part for the Kaiwami 4. And you can see they are different. It's exactly the same principle but they are different. In fact, it hasn't got a, a center. That hasn't got a seal in the center. It's got one around the outside, but it doesn't look like it's got a seal in the center. So it will just be purely a good fit, effectively. Whereas that, hopefully you can see what I'm saying here. That's got a seal in it. So we'll fit this in. Now, what I do is I'll always put a bit of Vaseline. So that's our old one. Put a bit of Vaseline. You can check it's the same, but all these are the same. Yeah, you can check it's the same, but they are all the same, these ones. The 400, W400, the Bellaria, the WBX, all those are exactly the same. And just put a little bit of, I put petroleum jelly on, just round here, and it also, because the threads go the length of the body. If you can see in there, hopefully you can see in there, the threads go the length of the body. Uh, so we want that to go all the way down the threads and it just gives you a little bit of lubrication not too much we put a bit on that as well actually because that just goes against that seal in there and we'll just make the trigger nice and smooth so we pop that in there I'm trying to do this as quick as I can and give you as much information as I can um, to make the video you know reasonably uh, short but getting to the point. Uh, another thing I was going to say is if you're getting uh, fluid, which is something I've come across, I recently bought a, uh, a G3, and I want a G3, which was getting fluid in the actual back here. So where the needle comes through, it was getting fluid in the back. And it turns out that it's this this front, they call it a packing gland at the front here. You undo that and there will be a, a small piece of plastic in there which compresses as you do this up. And that's what seals the front of the needle. It stops the paint that's in here coming back through the gun. But if you've got a reasonable amount of pressure there, when you're using it like that, you can find it actually travels back through because as you push that the pressure of it and movement of it pushes the fluid back through here or paint or whatever it is back through here and it comes out through the back of the gun because it travels along the needle and you end up with a load of fluid in the back so if you are getting that it's probably not this way it's not going to be this front bend it's not going to be that either it's going to be that leaking because it's the only way the fluid can come through unless you you know you've cleaned it and, and sent it backwards 
it's the only way the fluid can come through so we've done that out we've done it up reasonably tight but not silly tight because if you do it up silly tight it's going to distort it um, so we put this in and as I say if yours is looking quite um, quite oxidized then give it that that uh, trick with the with the grinder but make sure it's uh, uh, an electric grinder that's going at a reasonable speed don't do it by hand because if you do it by hand you'll scratch it and it, it's not normal brass it's brass color but it's not brass because it's actually quite hard the material they use but you will scratch it and if you scratch it what I was saying about those seals you know the fact that it needs to seal uh, if it's not sealing well then it will be no good. I'll put these back in, although I don't need to, to do our experiment now. I'll put these back in here. He says. And then we'll get the line connection. We'll put a regulator on it. Get a line connection and see if we've still got a leak. Now, I'm going to look really silly if it's still leaking, but I'm pretty confident that it won't. I can't hear it, although you can't hear it either. There, we've got no leak. The bubbles you saw are just the air bubbles that were actually in the cap originally. You can see it's underneath the water now and there's no bubbles. I'm not going to pull the trigger because there'll be loads of bubbles. But hopefully you can see that. It's all underwater and we've got no bubbles at all. Now I can't hear it either. So our air leak is uh, fixed and that's all we needed one of those uh, as I say if you're getting air out the back here it will be this part here you can try and dig that little o-ring inside because that just seals around the um, that bra well, a brass coloured thing it just seals around that uh, if not then you replace that as a part that's the only eye water part you can get is that whole thing as an assembly uh, you may need to change that brass rod uh, but I never have uh, and I've, I've had this on quite a few guns which is another reason for doing a video because the Kaiwami 4 um, I, I had a look at was was not very old at all uh, and it seems to be quite a problem with uh, the eye waters which you know you, you can fix if you need to uh, and that's it I think yeah uh, okay well I hope you enjoyed the video guys hope it was uh, something a little bit different than uh, spraying something cheers